In this video, you'll see how I turned our backyard into a backyard oasis using an above ground 9 by 18 rectangular pool and creating a bar as well. This will work for Intex, also for Funsicle, should work for any rectangular above ground pool. The first thing I did was mark out the area that we're going to be excavating and leveling out. Uh, you do not want to be adding dirt to the back area to bring it up. You want to definitely dig it out on the higher area. We wanted it to have a little bit lower so we could have that bar height. And uh, our dimensions ended up being 16 foot deep from the patio to the back of the fence and 22 foot wide. One thing you want to watch out for is sprinkler lines when you're excavating. We got it leveled out and smoothed it out with a top layer of paver sand and started placing our posts. If you can cement all your posts, that's really the best way to go about it. Unfortunately, I was not able to. Some of them had to use post footers because of an easement that I had towards the back. We also placed the pavers to go under the legs of the pool and dug them out to be level with the ground. I added a three foot walkout to be the place to put our bar stools connecting to the pool. Once that was done, we were able to put down the underlayment and start assembling the pool. The underlayment we chose is in the list provided if you choose to get that. Again, that does come with blueprints, a parts list, and where we purchased the parts. Once the pool was assembled, we were able to start filling it. The side rails will remain bowed in until you fill it almost all the way to the top. Please keep that in mind. After that, we were able to start decking around it and adding the stairs. Now is the time that I added the LED lights going around the edge of the inside of the pool. These are waterproof and continuing down and ending at the bottom of the stairs. At this point, we started decking the top. I used pressure treated wood for most of the decking and the gray parts that you see are a plastic composite board that will not swell up with the water touching them. Once I completed that, we started the face of the front of the pool and continued on to the deck connecting to the patio, leaving a lip so it would have a bar look to it. The last thing I added was some slats on the back for privacy. If you have kids, you should add a railing for safety. Uh, total for materials was between six to eight thousand um, dollars. There is a list with blueprints that is available as materials needed to complete this project for twenty dollars. If you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments. And if you would, please give me a like and a subscribe. Thank you.